first reading, Romans chapter 12 verse 9 to 16. Let love be without any pretense. Avoid what is evil, stick to what is good, in brotherly love let your feelings of deep affection for one another come to expression and regard others as more important than yourself, in the service of the Lord, work not half-heartedly, but with conscientiousness and an eager spirit, be joyful in hope, persevere in hardship, keep praying regularly, share with any of God's holy people who are in need. Look for opportunities to be hospitable, bless your persecutors, never curse them, bless them, rejoice with others when they rejoice, and be sad with those in sorrow, give the same consideration to all others alike. Pay no regard to social standing, but meet humble people on their own terms. Do not congratulate yourself on your own wisdom. Responsorial Psalm, Isaiah chapter 12 verse 2 to 6 Look, He is the God of my salvation, I shall have faith and not be afraid, for Yahweh is my strength and my song, He has been my salvation, joyfully you will draw water from the springs of salvation, and, that day, you will say, praise Yahweh, invoke His name. Proclaim His deeds to the people, declare His name sublime, sing of Yahweh, for his works are majestic, make them known throughout the world, cry and shout for joy, you who live in Zion, for the Holy One of Israel is among you in his greatness. Gospel, Luke chapter 1 verse 39 to 56. Mary set out at that time and went as quickly as she could into the hill country to a town in Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now it happened that as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child left in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? Look, the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy, yes, Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has looked upon the humiliation of his servant. Yes, from now onwards all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his faithful love extends age after age to those who fear him. He has used the power of his arm, he has routed the arrogant of heart, he has pulled down princes from their thrones and raised high the lowly, he has filled the starving with good things, sent the rich away empty, he has come to the help of Israel his servant, mindful of his faithful love, according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with her some three months and then went home.